Welcome back to Paralympics 2024. I am so beyond honored to have Krista from Real Time Animal Rescue here with me. Uh, Real Time Animal Rescue is the first live streaming network to help rescues around the world. So tell me all about it. Oh, it's wonderful. We've been so honored. First off, thank you for having me. Of it's course. so wonderful to meet you, Mary Kate. It's an honor. <laughs> but uh, we are so blessed to actually be able to host this platform for registered animal welfare organizations who are out making a difference every single day. Right. What I call my heroes. They truly are heroes in action. Yes. So that's what we do. We allow them to live stream free of charge. It's no charge to them. It's just helping them get out to the on a global scale and reach beyond their current base of supporters. Yes. That's what it's about. And that so. and that's what they really need. Yes, they exactly. need that, you know, marketing yes, to exactly. help bring people to help their mission, get you know animals adopted, everything. Exactly. So it's just very inspiring what you do. Well, and, thank you. And so tell me a little bit about your story. Like what motivated you, what inspired you, well, you know, <laughs> to, get, to, to start It's kind this. of an odd thing, right? Uh -huh. um, I've been an animal activist all my life. So that's, it's a natural passion right. to just in a, an easy transition for me to move into real time. Right. But truly it started during COVID. And I always hate marking things by COVID because that's a negative thing. But real yes. time came from this platform, developed from that COVID pandemic that we all experienced. And yep. basically it was trying to help organizations that were close Closing their doors due to lack of funding. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know what it was like out here, but everybody went out and adopted a pet for the two weeks of lockdown. Everyone. Emptied the shelters. Everybody was so happy. It was great. And then everybody returned them. Yes. So all of our shelters, and we're still upside down from it, Mary Kate. It's like nobody can get on top of it. <sighs> so I literally prayed one night. I just asked the Lord to show me a way to bring a global free, I didn't think this was too big of a prayer, right. <laughs> a free global platform for organizations to use to be just broadcast on their behalf and help them do what they do best. And literally real time was born. So it's been a blessing so to walk great. through these doors and watch what's happened. It's We feature every animal species. It's from marine life to exotics, to domestic animals, to equines. It's so much fun to watch these people come on board with us and literally take you behind the scenes of rescue. And that's wow. what they do. They put a phone on, everybody has a cell phone pretty much. Right. So they go live, they live stream behind the scenes of rescue. And that's what makes us different. We're raw, we're real, and it's all in real time. So I, <laughs> I think people really do want to see real in any anything they're watching. I mean, especially if it's content, like I would watch that all day probably, just like behind the scenes, yeah. but also helping a, a rescue exactly. or a, an organization because what they do is so incredible. And you're like, it how is. can I support this? Really how can is. I help you? How can I empty the you know shelter today? Um, so I just... I think what you do is so inspiring and has so many followers on, or subscribers on YouTube. I, you know, people are definitely there. They are contributing and they're interested. And what what is a typical um, like day at work for you? For me, it's basically bringing in organizations, okay. letting them use our platform, exposing what we do. We're about ready to launch a whole new program called Compassion Education. And our goal, even though we are an entertainment network, mm -hmm. we are a reality show if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> I love we that. are, but our goal has always been education because without education, you've got to reach that next generation. Yes. So we are launching this fall Compassion Education. It's called Connect and Inspire. And it'll be going stateside, K through 12, stateside in the classrooms where our, our partners, our founding members will be coming live into the classrooms. So it's all about inspiring the next generation what we call land to sea conservation wow. so that is our next big big thing that's going to launch in the next eight weeks believe it or not it's like we're right here on it but it's eight gonna weeks be a, is already yeah. fall i know can you believe it you don't even <laughs> want to hear how christmas is six months away is that oh. crazy i know don't want to go well there. that one i'm really i love christmas <laughs> I do too. I do too. especially with some of this heat today i'm like i know, you know, I know. in california <laughs> It'll be 90 degrees on oh, a December day. Oh. Um, so what what are some of the, or who are some of the rescues that you work with? Or who are some that you'd like to spotlight a little bit or give a little uh, shout out? You know, or, they're all heroes. They're all right. amazing. And we are in six countries and around 34 states in the US already. Wow. So it's so much fun to watch them. Street dogs in India to the, the plains of Texas with wolf dogs and um, exotics. And we have, I, it's just amazing oh. wildlife that's being sponsored up in Canada. So it's just one of the wild Mustangs in Nevada. It's just really, really interesting to follow oh, how yeah. they do what they do and make such an impact 
in, in their own little area and globally, it's just wonderful. But just take India for, for instance, we have one group called Dharamsala Animal Rescue. Mm -hmm. And their mission is to literally help the street dogs. There are over 60 million street dogs right. in India. And they're all just roaming around. Well, they're hit and runs all the time. So they oh. get called out and the Stray Foundation of India as well, they do that, they're one of our partners. But the, the difference is education, and that's why we're trying to Absolutely. launch that as well. Trying to bring billboards out. That's what Dar's doing right now. Yes. Bringing billboards out, saying, slow down. You don't have to race around a car and hit a dog and then leave it for dead, right. which is what's happening. And oh. we're, we're launching 24-7 cams, and the first one goes live in Dharamsala, India. So oh. that's going to be going live, I think, tonight. So it's exciting. Tonight. Fingers crossed. Okay, yes. everybody yes. make sure <laughs> you check out. Well, how about tomorrow night? Give us a, a, tomorrow a day night. to kind of work through the, yeah, the little make sure to check out tomorrow night real time animal rescue so um what what kind of like behind the scenes could you expect to see from oh. a rescue okay because we are raw we're uh -huh. real and we're in real time right you could see anything from you can see somebody drop a phone in the mud, you can say, but that's what we want. We don't want highly edited content. Right. When somebody literally goes live, you don't know what they're going to see. You don't know what they're going to experience. Right. So sometimes, unfortunately, it's not all positive because real life animal rescue is not 100. We're not in Snow White's garden yet. Right. We'll be there someday, yes, but not yet. Yes. So it's real. It's raw. You might see somebody literally out just mucking stalls, but it's what they do in sanctuary life. We yes. have a beautiful organization called Goats with Horns. They're in Arizona, and they do phenomenal phenomenal education pieces. They have goats, chickens, everything you can imagine. Wow. And they're constantly live streaming on that. So it's, you know, it's just fun to watch, right. to actually walk in their shoes and see what they do every single well, day. I think you get to appreciate what they do oh, a lot do. more. Cause you're I like, do. oh, I thought, yes. you know, working at a rescue was gonna be sunshine and rainbows <laughs> all day, but no, there, no. there is a side which, you know, yes. can be more difficult and, and be a little negative sometimes. Yes. Cause you are dealing with animals who have been abused or yes. abandoned or so there is that you know side to it but i think that's so important to show and it goes back to the education it does and i think it's great because it's all about education. nobody wants to see the over edited stuff anymore anyway i truly think like authenticity we can see it in social media taking over and I, you know, it's the same, I think it's the same thing. And like I said, I will be watching like I'm so every glad. live. <laughs> um, so what impact have you been able to see? Well, with Dharamsala alone, they, they on one video that they did, the founder told me it, it got 54,000 views on one educational video, one wow. live stream. And that's what we are. We're a megaphone. Like I said, we're free. I mean, we're right. a marketing platform for these organizations to use free of charge. So that's what we do. We broadcast on their behalf. So we become a Amazing. megaphone. All they have to do is go live. And that's what we're about. One other organization said, you know, we have donors. They hadn't mentioned a heat map. I've never heard of a heat map before. <laughs> but she pulled it up and she said, we we have donors in uh, the Philippines, Austria, and the UK now. Yeah. That's what we're about, is how to reach beyond their current base of supporters. Yes. They might yes. have 20,000 followers on Facebook, right? but what about the other millions of people out there that's right. waiting to find them yes. to help them save more lives? Because a lot of rescues, they kind of reach within a local yes, they do. area. Right. They don't really reach outside right. of that exactly. local exactly. area. Exactly. So giving them that ability and providing it you know, for free yes. and just shows how passionate you are about this. I love it. And I, love it. I mean, you can see so many other people with how many people you have supporting and following are also passionate and they want to be involved. And speaking of getting involved, how could like someone like me get involved? Like, what could I do to, I don't know, anything? Oh, you're wonderful. Well, I take you home with me today and put you to work. Your energy okay. is fantastic. Do you but <laughs> we're going to be opening up our platform in due season to people that want to share their love stories with their pets that's going to be a lot of fun to I see their own that. love stories because i have my own i'm not a rescue but i've been a passionate animal activist all my life and rescued anything that needs it, it could be a worm after a rainy day <laughs> throwing it in the grass probably starve the robin but i'm throwing the worms in the grass <laughs> everything is is all about your passionate story so right. that's one thing we're going to be opening up if you know of if you know of um, an organization that could use a platform like ours okay. pass our name on that's what we're all about is trying okay. to get the word out about who real time is, yes. what we're doing, yes. and the difference we're making for, for people. Because, because that's there, the goal. There, there are so many rescues and they're, they're small yes. rescues. And so anyone at home, if you know a rescue, a local rescue that you love and could, I mean, I feel like every rescue could use real time and Aww. like such a great platform, make sure to recommend them. I mean, free, like you're going to get help with 
getting the word out about adoptables, about donations, like that's what rescues need. And launching the education program. If somebody's a teacher, yes. they want to bring our platform into their school system, get in touch with us. Incredible. It's going to be a lot of fun to see these classes, bringing our, our, our partners live oh. in the classroom, talking about I wish I had that when I was in school. <laughs> too, I'm like, too. that would be so much fun. Um, so what is your ultimate goal with real-time animal rescue? You know, we want to be the one-stop shop for animal enthusiasts globally. So right. we are starting a vegan and vegetarian ch uh, cooking channel. So we'll have cooking menus out there so we've impacted so cool. the animal kingdom if somebody downloads a vegan meal right that's what we're all about I love it. making change so we want to have a, a platform that somebody wants to know something about animal welfare go to real time and you're going to get it through education and again education right. is the key to everything that we do so huge yes, it's, it is. i mean if, if more people were educated we would have less animals in rescues and exactly and starting a more compassionate world with yes. the young people you have to reach the youth yes. to make a difference absolutely. and that's what we are totally committed to doing absolutely and i mean i know a, a lot of like i'm a millennial and i treat my pets like they're my children exactly. but we need to keep that going and we need to get absolutely. all the animals out of the absolutely. rescues protect help save and you can do that at our real-time animal rescue. Um, so what is your favorite story from your, your time owning real-time animal rescue? Like, Oh my goodness, was, there's so many. Yeah, what, what's there's your so favorite? Many. But one of them that actually was facilitated by our platform mm -hmm. uh, happened to be a little cat that, she's 10 years old now, but she was adopted in Florida mm -hmm. by a lady as a kitten. The lady moved away. Nobody knows why all this happened, but anyway, she passed away in, I think it was in Arizona, and the cat is now 10 years old, is in kidney failure. It ends up, the family takes it to uh, animal control where they're gonna euthanize this. So the founding partner calls me and says, well, the chip came back to me in Florida. I'll send a rescue person out there to pick up the cat, but they're gonna euthanize it in so many hours. I was able oh. to activate one of my partners who handles goats, it was the goats with horns. The, the partner there, she went and picked up this cat. She had been sick, homesick all day. It was just a God thing that she was off. Oh my she gosh. went and picked up this cat, kept it for two days, let one of the volunteers fly in from Florida, pick up the cat, take it home. Had I not had that reach, just by my partners, they're all incredible heroes. And they just do anything, even though she's not a cat rescue. She went to the pound, picked up that cat. Dedication. It is, exactly. And that's what's so incredible about this industry and community is everyone, they are so dedicated yes. to yes. saving pets in any capacity. And if that means driving hours and hours and hours when you're sick to go get a cat, even though maybe you're allergic to cats or something, <laughs> like you still gotta do it because exactly. you have that passion, which, I, I just love and I feel the same way, but getting to be with people in this industry such as yourself who you could just feel that like compassion and passion for what you're doing, <laughs> yes. I just think is so incredible. So um, last question, um, what is up next for you? I know you spoke about the education program. Um, is there any more you want to touch on that? Is there any other, uh, like you said, the live event for the India um, rescue? What, oh, what, the 24-7 cams, yeah. We're going to be actually installing more 24-7 cams throughout the year. That's, that's a phase that we are ready to wow. do. So it's really interesting to allow people to kind of go inside the, the shelters, not just on live, to be watching 24-7 whenever they want. So that's going to be a very interesting thing. That's such but the idea. next big phase is compassion education, and we're going to be launching globally. It right. will start in the U.S., we'll take it to Canada and the U.K. probably by 26, and then 27, we're hoping to bring it all over the world, and that's the goal, wow. because we have got to do this. If we're going to see a better world, if we're going to see a more compassionate world out yes. there, we have to do this. Yes. And I don't know if I'll see it in my lifetime. You'll see it, I guarantee you. You're much younger than me, <laughs> but you will see that, and that's the goal. Right. You know, we're starting a show that's a modern take on Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. You're way too young to remember. <laughs> Marlon, you, you, you probably don't remember that one, do you, Marlon Perkins? You, no, no, no. They do have a new show out, but we're taking a modern spin on that. Right. We will be letting our, our partners talk about their sanctuaries live in a show and bring it in the vegan and vegetarian cooking channel. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of really wow. fun things that are happening. You have so much going on. I am so, like, I mean, I, I was impressed before I even oh, met you, but okay. you are such an inspiration for people out there who want to make a difference and you just went and you did it, which God thing. <laughs> oh, so appreciate everything that you do. Everyone make sure you check out real time animal rescue. If you know a local rescue, 
send their name over, get them signed up, and thanks Thank again. Thank I you. really appreciate it, Thank and you. we'll talk a little bit more Absolutely. after. Okay, Thank you very thanks, good. Krista. Uh -huh. Okay, after this next commercial break, we will be talking to some other amazing.